What is up, Zero Game? My name is Captain Zero Vlogs, and today we are going to be reacting to Monique responding to the cancel culture, the backlash, the criticism about her telling black women not to wear bonnets in public. And I did see the original video, and I thought that she was very nice and sweet about it. I'm gonna give you guys my final thoughts after I see her respond so I can get the full picture. And if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys like, subscribe, and comment. Help me get my video out there in this jungle that we call YouTube. Without further ado, let's get into the video. Um, I've been thinking long and hard. You think long and hard? About what I'm gonna say in this post. <laughs> Because the dogs because in the background? I did Friday in reference to us being the best us that we could be. It rubbed some people wrong. But I want to share this with y'all. And there were two people so she wrote a whole in thing my down. life that had I taken a different attitude, I could have felt like they was rubbing me wrong. But I'm glad I took the attitude of appreciation and gratitude because they tapped me. And that was Patty LaBelle. And Margaret Avery. Oh, that's a little bit Patty before my time, but. Patty tapped me one night. We were getting ready to do a show, and I was in my feelings over. And that woman had to come tap me and tell me get myself together. And she didn't tell me with lollipop kisses and pancakes and syrup all over. <laughs> she told me what I really wanted to hear, and I was grateful for that that night because it impacted my life. Miss Margaret Avery, I was grateful the night she called my dressing room. You called her ugly or something? To me, Baby, focus on getting some more of that weight off of you. Dang. Because I see what you're doing. I respect and that. I'm glad those two women love me enough that they would go out of their way to, tell the to truth. talk to me in a way that aunties, mamas, big sisters talk to their little sisters, That's the problem nieces, these days. grandbabies. People are daughters. so soft, you know? I was grateful for that because it allowed me to think about things differently. Never once did I think those women were trying to be offensive. Did I think they were trying to um, be nasty or mean? I thought it's the truth. what it was was nothing but love. So for you babies that have for taken offense to what I've said, How adorable. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with y'all being in your feelings about it. I'm okay with that. Because when you love somebody for real, I know y'all will get over that. And when y'all say, we will cancel your ass, <laughs> well, they've tried that. And I'm still here. Yo, to let I, love, I love that. I love you. And ain't nothing you can do about that. I love our community. And ain't nothing you can do about that. Doesn't mean she's not repulsive. So she's standing her ground. That I can respect. Because I've said to you, you're a queen and you're beautiful. Yes. And when you wear that damn bonnet and your pajama pants and your slippers, Anywhere you go, yes. don't you know you block your beauty? Yeah, that's so don't unattractive. Don't you know you block your beauty? Let your beauty be seen. Like a and bust shown. out, girl. See, remember the time we were raising hell because they didn't want us to wear our natural hair. They didn't want us to do the things we wanted to do with our natural beauty. Now, why ever would you block it? Why ever would you block it? So I'm unapologetic about what I said because I said it with nothing but love, and I said it with no judgment. For the sisters that got it, I'm glad. For the ones that didn't, I'll wait. <laughs> Dang. But please know, Aunt Nikki gonna be right here. And when I gotta talk to you again, guess what I'ma do? I'ma do my part. And if I gotta tap you, it's a love tap, baby. It ain't no she do all like soul mama ish. Be She's smart, the over here. Some of the she do all like soul mama ish. I like it though. <laughs> I just know that y'all are young babies, and you don't know any better. Just some kittens. Kid. But because I do, I won't match your energy. What I will do is love us through. So please know, I still stand by what I said. That's it. Stand women, your ground. I can respect that. that. Me out, I'm grateful and forever appreciative. That y'all took the time out to love me when you didn't have to. So Man. I hope for you babies. The one All right, I'm gonna give you guys Bible, my final thoughts. Say whatever then. you want to say, but at the end, say I love you. All right, so here are my final thoughts about the whole thing. Um, no surprise. I feel like she's 100% right. I do respect that she stood her ground. 
uh, she believes in what she believes in and just because other people disagree with it, she shouldn't change her mind. I agree with that. I feel like a lot of these celebrities let uh, the cancel culture control what they say if they don't even believe in it, like Kevin Hart about gay people and etc. Just because you cancel them or make them say sorry or whatever, it doesn't change their mind. They're just saying sorry because they want to keep making money. While with her, she stood her ground. And I think that um, people you know, that have any remote intelligence are going to uh, agree with her and respect for standing her ground. I feel like cancel culture, uh, if you ever apologize, right, you start losing all your stuff. I think that anyone that says what they believe in Regardless of people, you know, the majority agrees or disagrees, stand your ground. That is something I completely agree with. I think that it's better just to stand your ground and say, look, this is what I believe. Everybody's not going to like it. And I feel like that's a bigger issue with people these days is that they want you to believe what they want you to believe, right? I'm not trying to get into politics, but a certain uh, party wants you to believe what they want you to believe. They don't want you to think for yourselves and they're forcing the celebrities to do it. You know, it's a whole takeover if you guys get my drift. And you can just see it trickle down from the you know elites to the politicians to the puppets which are the entertainers uh the musicians you know the media right it trickles out to that onto uh, normal people to try to influence them and make them think what uh you know the elites want us to think so i really do respect that she has a mind of her own she stood her ground although the way she was very classy about it um usually i have like a negative joke to say but i don't have anything bad to say about monique in all honesty she's very successful she came from dirt um, to climb her way up, and she hasn't changed since she, you know, became famous. That I can respect. Um, as for the bonnet thing, I do agree with it. I find it very unattractive, very dirty. It makes me have little respect for women that have bonnets in their head. It's very ghetto. Um, if you're doing it for a skit, I think it's fine. But I don't know where this bonnet thing came from. Uh, you know, flip flops, bonnets, and, and uh, pajama pants. I see that all the time very ghetto very disgusting and that is exactly why the majority of black women are the least married women in america because of reasons like that amongst other reasons but those are one of the reasons black women are the, pretty much the only I mean, this is black culture more so should i say are pretty much the only type of women that wear bonnets in their heads and it's disgusting to look at when they go outside so with that being said uh i agree with her you know if you disagree with me please let me know in the comments below on why you disagree with me don't just call me an idiot, right? Don't just call me some child names. Let me actually know. On this channel, I like to discuss, see different perspectives. You know, no one's uh, no one's right. It's just a perspective, right? Especially on this topic, there's no right or wrong. But there's a logical one and there's an illogical one. And I want to know what you guys think. Are, are you against her? Are you with her? What do you guys think? I want to know in the comments below. And if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys like, subscribe, and comment. Help me get my video out there in this jungle that we call youtube without further ado i think it's gonna wrap it up for this video i want this video to be too long and i don't want to ramble so that being said i'm a casco zero vlogs and remember i'm not arrogant i'm just confident and thank you for watching